David Green from the Oak Ridge National Laboratory testified before our committee that a low carbon fuel standard was a more effective and efficient way to reduce carbon from fuel than a cap and trade system. Would you agree with that? Um, I, I wouldn't say, uh, I won't make a judgment as to whether it's more or less. I think it is an important uh, tool that. So you don't agree with it? I, I've only got three minutes. <laughs> I, I think it's important. I won't say whether it's more. Well, effective, would you please look into it important. because it's pretty. I mean, he testified that it was very inefficient and that a low carbon fuel standard would I'm be more efficient. Uh, Dr. Chu, uh, do, do you believe that the uh, 100 or so nuclear power plants that we have operating in America today and the I guess it's classified number of, of nuclear submarines with reactors that we have operating today are being operated safely? Yes. Uh, do, do you agree with roughly with the figures that, that carbon is the principal greenhouse gas that is contributing to global warming? Yes, I do. And, and would you agree that coal plants contribute about 40 percent of the carbon to uh, of that carbon. I'm not sure the exact number, but something around that number, yes. And that nuclear uh, plants, while only producing 20 percent of the electricity, produce about 70 percent of the carbon-free electricity. I agree with that. Then it, wouldn't it be true that if we're just looking at the next 20 years while we're figuring out how to lower the cost and improve the reliability of renewable energy, that the fastest way to produce clean, large amounts of clean, reliable, low-cost clean electricity would be nuclear power. I believe that uh, restarting the nuclear power industry is very important in, in this overall plan in, uh, of reducing our carbon emissions in the United States. But isn't, isn't it obviously, I mean, solar and wind uh, and other renewables on which the administration seems to be absolutely fixated and which I think are fine and useful. Um, only produce 6% of our carbon-free electricity. Nuclear produces 70%. And as you said, it's being operated safely here. France is 80% nuclear. We Taxpayers are helping India and China build nuclear plants. The president has said Iran may. Why don't we have the same level of enthusiasm for nuclear power that we do for wind turbines? I noticed that Ms. Jackson said, yes, safer nuclear power. But she didn't say, yes, more reliable uh, wind or yes more competitively costed solar power what's the what's the reluctance here well actually for me you're not going to get any reluctance i i as you may know uh i think the nuclear power is going to be a very important factor in getting us to a low carbon uh future um, the department of energy is doing with its tools everything it can to help restart the american nuclear industry uh, with the loan guarantees we're pushing as hard as we can on that we are going to be investing in the future in, in bettering the technologies. And quite frankly, we want to recapture the lead in industrial nuclear power, in, in utility nuclear power. We've lost that lead as we've lost the lead in many areas of energy technologies. We and we should get it back. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Thank you so much, Senator. That was good. Well done. Um, <laughs> Senator Lautenberg. Uh, <clears throat> thanks, Madam Chairman. Um, uh, I uh, ask uh, Secretary Chu, uh, you're a Nobel Prize winning physicist, and we congratulate you for the, uh, the uh, ability to earn that kind of recognition. Uh, is it possible that global warming could be a conspiracy to mislead uh, or uh, uh, be, a, be a hoax? in any way, or is it really related uh, to uh, human activities? Well, <clears throat> I think one has to understand how science works. Um, the, the entire reason for doing science and, and, and the feedback of, uh, of this is that if a scientist can prove what it might be generally accepted as wrong, and, and that scientist, that lone voice, is right, that person becomes very famous. So, so there is in the intimate structure of science this ability to say, give it your best shot. If this is what's a strong consensus, give it your best shot and, and prove to me. And so, so what has happened over the last several decades, quite frankly, is, is there were many, many people still continuing to look very, very hard at the facts, at the analysis, 
and the whole peer re the whole peer review system is a very strong check and balance against um, a global hoax. Thank you. Uh, uh, 